Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name's Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here and welcome to Get Ready With Me Wednesday. I do this every week with my girl Kat and we just sit down, get ready for our day and chit chat about whatever comes to mind, what's been going on in our lives or whatever. But right now, if you want to see what goodies we got in here from Odin's Eye, then stick around because I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I did get the Angie collection from Odin's Eye. The, is it Gila? Gila? Halloween? Halloween? Halloween collection? And I'm so excited. There's a little like note in here and it says, Happy Halloween, beautiful. I am so proud and excited for you to try out round two of my collaboration with Odin's Eye. We work so hard on these pieces to bring you the most amazing collection for Halloween. Thank you for your support. I hope you'll love your goodies. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. So it comes with five lip products, which I'm super excited to try. It comes with this like little wrap around thing. It's so cute. So cute. Then it comes with these like two little, um, they're not like keychain things. Um, I don't know what you call these, but they're super cute. And then you've got the two palettes. We've got the little ghost palette and we've got the trick or treat palette. I did um, do like a, a reel on um, Instagram and also a short or like not a short. I didn't upload it to YouTube, but it's on TikTok and Instagram. So I'm going to put these back in the box, put this back in the box. I'll probably use that later. I'm not sure which, um, palette I'm going to get into today, but let me show you the lip products. All right. So this one is matte lip satin, and this is in the shade swamp fog. Then we have this other matte lip satin, and this is in shadow creature. I'm not going to open these all up today. I'll probably do like a short or something because I got to take my son to work today. So I'm kind of in a hurry. Then we have shine lip gloss. This is quick sand. And then this is another shine lip gloss in spectral. And the last one is a glow lip gloss in the shade radioactive. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use today. We'll figure that out. I did get my base all done because I just want to concentrate on the palettes today. So this is the trick or treat palette right here. The artwork on these is just like, that's just so cool. So cool, you guys. Wow, I love it. All right, so this is the Trick or Treat palette. It folds all the way back. There is a mirror. I just, I really love it when palettes fold back like this because I, I think it makes them easier to use. Look at the little embossments, pumpkin, bat, the little skull and bones, crossbones, uh, Spidey, which I had a Spidey incident the other day. You guys will see that in one of the Adventure Fridays. You're not gonna wanna miss that one, it's pretty funny. And then the little ghost palette we've got right here. Again, the artwork is just, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. This one folds all the way back as well. And that's what she looks like inside. Again, you got the, the pumpkin, the spidey, the bats, the skull and crossbones. Super pretty, super pretty. I think I'm going to use the trick or treat palette today. Yeah, I think I'll use this one today. I did already prep my lids with the Gerard clean canvas in white. Um, and I did my base with the house labs foundation. I used color pop concealer. I used this contour stick from LA colors to contour. Uh, what else did I use? E -he -he. I used the LYS bronzer. Oh, and the blush. I used a different blush today. I used this Patrick Ta, and this is in the shade. She's adorable. <laughs> and then I used a little bit of the Rachel Couture translucent powder, and I also used a little bit of the Fit Me just to kind of put right here. I, I try to do it like people do to put the powder here to kind of make, I don't know. I don't know if it worked, but whatever. We tried. And then I used my... What is this? Lottie London uh, brow pencil as well as the Love brow stuff that I got from Avon 
for my brows. Was that all I did? I think so. All right, without further ado, let's get into the palette. And since we're using Angie's collection, we'll use her brushes too. All right, what color do I want to get into? It's Blue Friday, so maybe I'll do, yeah, I'll do a green look. So I'm going to go into is it Poison, which is this green right here, and I'm going to put it in the crease. So I did have my uh, doctor's appointment to go over my MRI results. I'm just going to tap this and then we'll blend it out. She said that they didn't find anything bad, that it's good, but she is referring me to a urologist uh, just to ease my mind, I guess. She said that, that it's, it's not cancer. They didn't find anything that makes them think it's cancer. They just think it's a cyst, but she's going to send me to the urologist so I can speak with them just to, you know, ease my mind. Because it, it, it is, it's like your doctor can say they think it's this, but until you hear it from like somebody that specializes in that field, you know what I mean? So I, I get why she's giving me the referral. Um, so I'm excited for, for that. Um, and hopefully there really is, you know, everything is okay. And it's just a cyst. She says it's very common, which I knew people told me that, but it was nice to hear it from my doctor. She was actually, the reason she didn't get back to me sooner is because she was out for a medical thing. So I, I wish they would have just told me that when they sent me the message that they didn't. And she was like, well, they probably just didn't want to give my personal information. And I said, I get that, but they could have said that you were you know, out of the office for a couple weeks or whatever for um, personal reasons, you know, whatever, just so that I wouldn't think that I'm being ignored and my test results are just sitting there and nobody's, you know, trying to get back to me to let me know what's going on. That's why I liked uh, Group Health Kaiser so much is because even if your doctor is out of the office or whatever, there's there, there's somebody else that you can see there. There's somebody else that you can go over your test results with you or whatever. You know what I mean? So it kind of sucks when you just have one doctor and there's, there's nobody else to like go over your results or touch base with you about anything. She also said there's something with my, my pancreas or something. She said, it's like something I was born with that I've always had. It just hasn't caused me any problems, so, but she's going to send me to, I forget what they call them, but somebody that specializes in pancreas, so she gave me a referral for that so I can talk to them about that. She said it usually doesn't, it can cause pan pancreatitis, I think is what she said, but she said that's normally like for somebody who's like a heavy drinker, and I said, well, I mean, I drink once in a while, but not, very rarely do I ever drink, like I might go months without ever having anything to drink you know like I went out to dinner with a friend the other night and I had one um lemon drop and that was it I I usually I don't drink I'm just never been a big drinker I'm gonna go into cauldron which is this shade right here and I'm just gonna use the what brush did was that first one it's the E03 was the first one I used, and now I'm using the E01. So I'm going to go into that cauldron color, and I'm going to put it on the outer V here. So we'll find out about that. I have, like, heard of people having pan pancreatitis. That's what it's called, pancreatitis. But usually it's people who are... Usually you have effects of pancreatitis if you're a heavy drinker, which I'm not. So... And she said it's okay if I drink once in a while, just not like like heavy, everyday kind of drinking. So I was very relieved. It's still kind of concerning to get the referral, but I understand. I understand why she's doing that because she knows she knows that I I worry about stuff. So I I've, I honestly feel like she's just doing it too you know, put my mind at ease because I, she knows that talking to somebody that specializes in that will, you know, ease my mind even, even more, you know what I mean? And then I had some bad news 
at work, the, well, not at work, but about somebody that I worked with the day that I had my follow up for my results. Um, somebody that I had worked with for many years had just retired in March and she found out in July that she had cancer and a couple weeks ago she updated everybody on her journey and she had said that the cancer had spread and she passed away um, Tuesday when the day that I had my follow-up so I was just an emotional wreck that day because I was actually sitting in my car waiting for my appointment because I got there a little early so I was just kind of sitting in my car watching some YouTube videos and I got a call from one of my other friends at work telling me that she had passed so I'm like emotional waiting for this follow-up appointment and then I got even more emotional because my friend passed you know and it was just I don't know. I mean, I kind of ex expected it. I guess I just didn't expect it so quick. And I was like super sad that I didn't get to go see her before she went. You know, I feel bad. Because she was so amazing. Like, we had a Christmas party last December. And they had like this little, like kind of like a white elephant gift exchange except for people actually got really good gifts it's, it's not like gag gifts it was really good gifts and I had picked one and it was this I can't remember the name of the blanket they have them at Costco but they're really nice freaking blankets and I was so excited and somebody stole it because you pick gifts and then people have the opportunity to steal the gifts so um somebody took it and I was like bummed about it and my friend from work that passed away actually she was like I'll get you one so she went to Costco and she bought me one of the blankets and so and she came to karaoke a couple times a few years ago I think it was before the before the pandemic we were going to karaoke once a week and she came a couple times to hang out with us so like it's really sad she was a really sweet lady and just like kind of like a mother you know she was always happy-go-lucky and so funny. I remember one time she posted something on Facebook about she was driving through the Safeway parking lot and she was like had her radio tunes turned all the way up and people were just looking at her driving because she was an older lady like probably 70 or almost 70. Close to 70 I'm sure. I can't remember exactly her age so she's gonna be missed definitely. I'm just hoping that I can go to her funeral because it's on a day that I work. I just found out when it is. So, but it's like right when I'm supposed to be getting off work. So I'm hoping maybe I can get off like, like a half an hour early just so that I can go. I think this is really pretty. What do you think guys? I love it so much. All right. Now for the shimmer shades. What to do, what to do, what to do. I think... We'll go in with Crypt Keeper, which is this green right here. And I'm going to put that like closer to the outer. And then I think I'll use this green right here, which is Witch's Brew. Kind of like on the inner. And I'm going to use the EO4 Singe Beauty brush. Pick a little bit up and we'll... I'm not going to wet my brush. We'll see how it lays down. I think I dipped in too hard. Mm. All right, just tap it. We'll just tap it on there and then we'll like blend it out after it's tapped on. And hopefully I don't get any fallout. Although I really don't, I really don't mind fallout. It's sparkle and shine. Who doesn't like the sparkle and shine? Ooh, that's pretty, you guys. And I don't, I don't have any fallout. That's awesome. This brush is really great for shimmer shades. I think I'm going to bring it in just a little bit more here. Get the other eye. All right, I got that laid down. I also, oops, I think I got a little, a little fallout right there. Uh, took my son to go take his 
written again. And when we were like going in, there was somebody that was actually being told how many they missed. And I was like, Junior, they can tell you how many you missed. So he took the test and he didn't pass again. So he was like, I want to know how many I missed. Two. You have to get 32 out of 40 correct. He got 30. And then the, the, the time before that, he got 30 out of 40. The very first time, he got 28. So he improved, but he was bummed. He was bummed. I'm like, you're right there, dude. You're right there. Just don't, don't give up. You know what I mean? All right, so we're going into the witch's brew. So we're going to try again next week. There's like this little cheat, cheat test thing. And it, I mean, I don't know how true it is. It says like, 92% of people that use the like cheat thing pass on the first try and I'm thinking if he gets that and he goes over it before he goes since he's done so well that he'll he'll pass the next time I'm just using the EO4 again to lay the witch's brew down in the inner corner here but we were driving home and he was like I could be driving home right now. I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. He's like, it's so frustrating. I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. All right, I think, I think we're good on that. I think now I need to do my mascara. I got like 25 minutes and I gotta be out of here. And I still have to like blow dry my hair. Maybe I won't, maybe I'll just tie it up. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how much time I have. Get some liner in the tint line here. I think I'll use this Pat McGrath Labs liner in black and just kind of do a little tight line. All right, and then we will use the, what is this? Lights Camera Lashes from Tarte. I got in a little Tarte palette that I got from Busy Beauty Customs. I really like this color, these like, I just really think it looks pretty, you guys. What do you guys think? I mean, look at that. It's stunning. Just stunning. Good job, Angie. Good job. But I do have the first uh, Hello Collection. Uh, Tish gave it to me. And uh, I really like that one, too. We were supposed to do a collab a long time ago, but we never got a chance to do it with that palette. I was gonna do lashes today, but I don't, I don't have time. Maybe I'll do a separate video trying out uh, Tish's lashes. I have a bunch of sets and I, I watched uh, Debbie Chan's video and she tried them all on. And there's a couple of them that I'm, I'm super excited because I looked at them and I know they're gonna be perfect and I really wanna try them out. I just, I have to have enough time to be able to get them on because I'm not that great at doing it. All right, let's do the lower lash line. Let me put something in my waterline. I'm going to use my emerald from Avon in the waterline. Um, but I really want to try my Renee lashes because like when debutant, when debutant tried them on, like you could just see how some of them would be perfect, uh, for like everyday wear and especially if you wear glasses because like a big reason that I don't do lashes is because I wear glasses and there's been a few times that I have tried lashes and when I put my glasses on the lashes hit my glasses so I can't I can't wear them I have to have my glasses on and I can't wear my glasses if my lashes are hitting them well I can't wear lashes if they're gonna be hitting my glasses all the time because it's annoying, you know what I mean? So anyways, let's get into Cauldron again, which is that darker green color and I'm using the Sin Beauty E01 brush and we're just gonna tap it on the outer part here and then we'll blend it out with Poison, which is the lighter green color. I do got a little more fallout, you guys. That's probably my application. I'll have to fix that later. 
All right, I got that laid down. So we're gonna go in with the E05 Singe Beauty Brush and we're gonna go in with Poison, my girl. What's that song? Poison, Poison. Is it Boys to Men? I think it's Boys to Men. That girl is poison. Never trust big button to smile. That girl is poison. All right, I got that all done and I cleaned up the little bit of fallout that I had. Inner corner, what do I want to do with the inner corner? Mm, I don't know. Maybe we'll use this magic, magic potions. That's a really pretty shade right there. Ooh, look at that. Stunner, stunner for sure. I think we're gonna do that. Just tap in a little bit and then just get it on that inner corner. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. What time is it? Ooh, I gotta leave in like 15 minutes, you guys. I'm thinking I'm not gonna be able to do anything with my hair. That's okay, that's all right. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Ocalon 3D Glow Highlighter that I think I got this in Ice Cream Beauty and I'm just gonna get that on the brow bone here. Okay, for my lip combination, I'm gonna use the Matte Swamp Fog and the Shine Quick Sand. So I'm gonna get these out of the boxes and we'll get these applied. Alrighty, I just put a little bit of this Gerard Cosmetics Melrose Place just to kind of line my lips a little bit. So we're gonna get Swamp Fog, matte. That's what it looks like right there. Let's put it on. Ooh, this feels good. I don't know if this goes with this eye look, but we're going with the flow. And then this is Quicksand, the shine. And that's what that looks like. And put that on top. Oh, I like it. I like it, all right. So that shall be my look today with the Hella, Hella, Hella Trick or Treat Palette from Odin's Eye, the collection with Angie. Um, I love it. I love it so much. I think it's really pretty. I'm so glad I got this collection. I really like Angie a lot and I, I saw this and I just really wanted to get it. You know, there's some things that really speak to me and these, these really spoke to me. So that's my look with this palette today. What do you guys think? Did any of you guys pick them up? Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you want them? Mm. Yeah, I love it. I love it so much. So pretty. Anyways, I got to get out of here. That's my video for today. I love you all so very much. Thanks for hanging out with me and always coming back and supporting my channel. It means a lot to me. Uh, thank you, Kat, for another week. I love you so much. Uh, I hope you had a good week and that you're doing well. Can't wait to see your video. Uh, make sure you guys go check Kat out and show some love on her channel. Uh, she'll be linked on the end and down below in my title. You can just click on the her, her name and it'll take you right to her channel. Go show her some love and uh, I will see you next week, Kat. Um, I hope you all have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day it is that you're watching this. Take care. Stay safe. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. Turn up that notification bell. That way you can get notified anytime I make a new upload because we do lots of different things on this channel from Adventure Fridays to unboxings, get ready with me, Mask Mondays, all kinds of stuff. And um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it give a thumbs up for Angie and her new collection um, and leave a comment. Say hi. Let me know that you stopped by. I love you all so much and I hope I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.